first one out is convention so this is about taking a look at your foundation make sure that you're on a, on a, a good foundation not pretty um not living on a life that is false um this gives you the opportunity to change things this is a card about endings um so perhaps there's something that you're thinking about of changing but maybe you have a little hesitation um this is giving you a new opportunity to start off clean um perhaps to relocate as far as homes maybe even within your mind your own mind of how you feel and see things um this also takes you out of the norm um so if you're sort of stuck in like a cookie pattern kind of uh life or situation you know where everything is sort of the same this is where you can break free of that it's convention you're you're sort of um starting something new and going outside of the box perhaps okay which is not a bad thing guys and uh i think that in this time this day and age we sort of have to shift out of what we thought was good okay um so then generosity and so this is where we come out of the 3D as far as when I say 3D, it's the plane that we live in. Um, it's tied to materialism. It's tied to money, ego. I'm right. You're wrong. That kind of thing. With the generosity and the convention together, this is where you let go of that rigid kind of, like I said, cookie cutter kind of um, life. And you start being more humble. You start um, helping others. There's this time that's coming um, they say in the near future where we're really letting go of the money and egotistical things and it's going to be about humanity and who's going to, um, you know, who's going to help you, you know. So let's see what this one is. Appreciation. So see, becoming more humble, um, you will get blessings. Maybe you are this kind of person that is... Um, you found a life purpose uh, to help other people. Um, but with this, it's going to bring you this sort of abundance um, to start over. This is change with the appreciation. So maybe you're coming outside of ego and you're learning how to manifest positivity for you. Um, you have endurance. So see, this is that energy that I feel that we're being pulled away from materialistic stuff and um, perhaps the upside down world that is trying to sort of take us into their grip. You know what I mean? Um, this is where you really have to have thick skin and really fight. Uh, stand up for yourself. Fight. Fight for your freedoms. Okay. Um, let's see. And then you also have flirtation so see through this darkness that's that might you might be going through right now or in the near future it might start unfolding for you you have to have some kind of flirtation and the flirtation card is about keeping a happy spirit and making sure that you pull yourself out of um perhaps darkness or things that you think are crashing down but if you stay positive and happy within yourself, this is about creating inner peace for you. Then you're going to be okay. See, there's balance. There's that sense of happiness. Um, but I think it's we're trying to break out of the mold and really become a little bit more humanitarian. Um, and this is really um, where you're going to change. Things are changing rapidly. Let's see what's at the top of the deck. So you have domination. And see, this is where this comes from with the convention what have you what has been dominating you have you been living a life of free will uh choosing your your what you want to do um no one else has your free will unless you give it to them so have you been dominated by what religion by society by um government um by another person a dominant person um, maybe a manipulative kind of relationship you're in whether it's work family or love um that's something you're trying to break free from or what really spirit is trying to break us free from um and then at the bottom so publicity um this is another card of change so this ties into the endurance where um you have to stand up for something um and you might have to say it publicly meaning you got to come out of the old regime the old um di diagram 
um, like the old paradigm um, and really create new, but you might have to voice it here publicly. You know what I mean? In other words, making a stand for yourself, whatever the situation might be, it really does tie into a lot of what's going on in the world today. Okay, so take it as it resonates for you today. I am going to go a little deeper and see what these mean for you, but I definitely keep a light air about you, you know, um, try to stay happy. Um, I mean, I just feel like a lot of things are going to start evolving uh, soon and you might sort of lose grip or uh, just see things that you just quite didn't quite think would ever happen in our lifetime. So, and if you don't think that this affects you or your twin, you got another thing coming. Because what's trying to happen is in the world, the way things are happening right now, the d divine masculine energy is sort of being ripped away from us. But really, you have to have a balance of divine femme and divine masculine. You just can't have one. You know, it's two sided. So, this is where we sort of have to fight for divine masculine to sort of be balanced. You know what I mean? Um, let's see what the reading tell, tells us a little bit more. That's just what I'm seeing, guys. Um, convention, please. What is the convention? And so this is definitely where things are falling. They're shifting. And it's trying to break you free of that square that you live in, that box. You know what I'm saying? Um, okay, so you have the... Ten of Swords, the Fool, and the Queen of Coins, which is the Queen of Pentacles. So you see, this is, are you tied to a toxic relationship? Are you tied to something that doesn't ground you, something that doesn't serve you anymore? You really need that risk, that, that plunge to break free from that Ten of Swords. And it is a 10. So that is really saying it's changing. It's going to change rapidly, guys. But then with the the, the queen of coins it's really this energy of being grounded um is this where you're needing to go towards <coughs> so i just feel like the throat chakra is acting up as i'm speaking um maybe you're going towards the queen of coins okay um this is really a, a powerful position in that sense that there's compassion there's generosities there's this sense of being down to earth. Um, the queen of, of coins is really um, here to really help others. And that's where I get that sense of maybe needing to reach out to help people or you uh, asking for help. Okay. Um, this is really, if you're talking about environmental things, this is where... Uh, you know, this is where you have to sort of manifest a nurturing kind of environment um, to all living things, no matter what they are, animal, human, um, you know, whatever plant, you know. Um, so it's a very deep reading, I feel, today already. Um, so is this a person that you need to sort of submit to? Um, and it's very hard because of ego, because you've been sort of taught one thing and you just find it very hard to go out of that box you know um i don't know if that's because of you feel like you're obligated to the situation whatever that might be okay let's see queen of queen of coins what is the queen of coins please what is the queen of coins um the star card and the moon so see it's that fear. You you have this pull towards something that is generous and loving and nurturing and grounding. And that is that star card. It's a spiritual connection. But yet there's a lot of vulnerability, perhaps because you've never felt it or it's out of the norm for you. So this is where you go outside of the norm and experience the situation. But yet it's tied to fear. Um, this could be fear in that sense of you just don't know how to let go of your ego. Or it could be fear of just maybe not being good enough or having self-doubt. This also could be an awareness, like meaning um, like something telling you to be aware of a situation. So in other words, wake up and pay attention to your intuition as far as this Queen of Pentacles. Um, is it where you're trying to get yourself to? Or is this where you're kind of laid down something in order to get 
with this person or in this situation something like that guys okay um maybe it's a warning i feel um to pay attention to pay attention how your gut really feels what is the fool what is the fool please what is the fool i want to know what is the fool um so you have the eight of wands see taking that risk taking that action um communication maybe traveling to uh, maybe there's messages coming in for you in that sense of real messages like uh, texting, um, email, even communication in person, um, something like that. Okay, this is this sort of rapid kind of energy that's I'm feeling like as far as making you move towards something. What is the Ten of Swords, please? What is the Ten of Swords? But see, whoever this is, whether it's you or your person, you've been stuck in this place of being confined with society with religion whatever that might be okay so you got the six of pentacles in the sun so ha have you been stuck in a place where with the six of coins and the sun it's like you've been very generous in that situation where you're at but you've been sort of backstabbed this is the awareness that's coming in from the moon telling you be aware of the situation you're keeping yourself locked in a place where you're giving too much and somebody's taking sort of um your kindness and really not appreciating it so this is where um the masculine really needs to somehow heal and become balanced and take back your masculinity that's what this is saying guys um masculine has been tied in this sort of um this sort of box where they can't move out of maybe control or who oh, what people think you ought to do you're living for someone else okay and you're being quite generous but you're being taken advantage of is what i see here so um yeah let's see let's see what the rest have to tell you i think that that is the warning that is coming through with the moon as far as fear um when i did meditation before this reading i heard um it's hard for people to chalk up things as a failure and really to let go of ego um to sort of let go of ego realize you made a mistake or followed the wrong thing and that's what's holding us up as a society and as as, as far as um a human race kind of thing okay um so let's see here what is number five um generosity and so this is where we have to break free from that pattern of everything is material you know so look at that you got the six of cups you got the six of cups and the chariot so this this change that's going to happen over here it's something that we've been stuck in for so long that spirit is trying to get us out of it okay and it's going to get us to this place where we can balance that energy where i told you divine masculine and divine feminine you have to have both you have to sort of have that loving and that sort of assertiveness kind of energy it can't be offset so the chariot is bringing this to alignment it's creating freedom it's creating the free will uh that sense of energy that makes you move which i felt with the eight of wands and the fool taking that risk is this coming back to your kindred spirit to is this to healing your inner childhood kind of trauma sort of resetting things so you can start over again um this could be love this could be somebody returning for you or you to them okay this does denote a past lover okay um but it also could definitely mean that you're sort of being called to go to a simpler place a place of not having um you know this sort of feeling of being trapped in something that you don't want to be in okay what is the six of cups please six of cups the six of cups um okay the king of pentacles so now we have the king and the queen of pentacles is that the match guys is that your your soulmate your twin flame what is the chariot what is the chariot please you sort of have to humble yourself to have this that's what this card means the generosity you have to humble yourself um you have to acknowledge that you did wrong things or maybe have forgiveness 
um, to be able to get to the Six of Cups. And there will be balance. There, it will happen. Um, see, I'm telling you, Five of Swords, whoever this is, whether it's you or your person, you got to sort of surrender to this um, and let it happen. In other words, you give yourself a free pass. You pat yourself on the back and say, okay, I've learned my lessons and now I'm straight. What is the chariot, please? What is the chariot? What is the chariot? So you got the ace of coins and the queen of cups. You got a new beginning here. You got a beginning of love, intuition, compassion, a sense of free flowing. Um, definitely that sense of you just know where you want to go. You're not questioning. Um, you believe. Maybe you're believing in yourself. And this is what needs to happen in order for you to get straight and get into that six of cups, if that makes sense. Okay. Um, maybe this is you. Maybe this is your person. You got to take it as it resonates. It is a general reading. Um, but I do feel like um, there's just something that is pulling you um, to somebody who is just very loving. And maybe for a long time you've been tied in a relationship or a situation with the Ten of Swords that just sort of kept you stuck there and betrayed, okay? But this is where you surrender to this love. I definitely do feel the Queen of Cups in this reading. It's not a person. It's the it's the spirit of the Queen of Cups. Like, you're being drawn to your twin because this person is grounding. They're generous. They're It's true love. And there is an opening. There's a brand new beginning available for you two people that are coming together, okay? You may have to help each other. You may have to help help friends also. They keep saying, okay? Um, I want to know, let's see, appreciation. Um, appreciation. So if you're lacking appreciation or abundance or grace, this is where you go inside. You, you meditate. You connect to spirit. You connect to um, um, the earth and really be thankful, okay? Um, there are hardships that are going to be coming, uh, but if you prepare now, you'll be able to handle it when it comes here, okay? Um, let's see. I don't always like to say things because I don't want to cause, like, mass mayhem, but it, it's almost like you got to prepare. You got to prepare for something, um, if you look at the world and what it's happening in the world, everything that's happened, that they're doing man-made uh, weather, man-made uh, manipulation, all that kind of stuff, it's going to have effect on us in the future. So when I look at this picture, they're just telling me, prepare. And what do you see in this basket? It, it's food. So you might need to start preparing for food, okay? Um, that's just something they're telling me on a mass scale. But see, ton of wands. So... Ten of Wands. This is really um, letting go of your obligations of what you think you have to do. Um, as far as a, a strict kind of um, like way of being. Okay, this is where you have to sort of surrender to yourself and listen to your gut and let go of things um, that you just can't change. You can't change people. You, you sort of have to accept that, you know, you've gone through a lot of um, difficult things. But once you do that, it's like you don't carry that into the future. You sort of you sort of start start over again. OK, um, let's see here. The Ten of Wands, please. The Ten of Wands. So the Three of Wands, this allows you to sort of when you let go of these wands, these obligations, the regrets, the, the things that caged you in you're able to move forward to the things that you've been trying to manifest. And it's going to be a better place that you take yourself. Um, but I do feel you, you're going to have to have some resilience there. Okay. Um, perhaps there's been things that you've been manifesting or trying to manifest and they haven't quite appeared in front of you yet, you know, uh, and you lose patience. But this is really a choice that you need to make which involves a risk meaning with this card here and the ten of swords up here you've taken a risk to let go of this stuff that's why you have two tens you have the ten of ten of swords and the ten of wands there is a risk that has been taken in order for you to move forward with this three of wands and that is letting go of all these wands all these wands that sort of been sort of um like 
little little uh, dents in your soul, you know? Um, so when you do that, then you can have all the things that you've waited for come in as far as results and it's been worth the while, okay? Um, so keep a focus on that dream, on that vision. You see, he's looking at the ship. So really keep a focus on that dream and that vision that you want to come in for you. Um, and keep appreciating. Even if you go through a struggle, keep appreciating and just visualize that. What I see this message as is that coming together as a collective and just raising the energy, you know, and us as twin flames, we really do have the power to do that. It's all in your mindset. And if you think that a lot of the stuff that um, is happening in the outside and the environment doesn't affect you and your twin, you're wrong. It really is. You can't just focus on the love that you have for this person. You have to see what's happening on the outside because it does make a dent in your life. Okay. Um, let's see here. See the two of coins and that's where you could be questioning things, you know? Um, yeah. Okay. So let's see here. Uh, endurance. Endurance, please. What is the endurance? Uh, endurance. This will change. This will help you. This will help you to um, have a stronger core. And you might be fighting it because I see these two cards went in reverse. Um, you might be fighting it, whatever they are. See? Holy crap. Um, the Hierophant and the Justice. So are you not giving yourself that sense of karmic justice? Are you fighting this? Are you... <coughs> excuse me see when i start speaking negatively or um maybe something they don't want you to hear they start closing up my throat chakra um you got the hierophant in reverse and the justice in reverse so this is you maybe battling are you battling yourself to see the truth the light uh to change what society has told you to believe differently um, in the justice in reverse as well. Because see, there is some kind of karmic justice trying to come in for you that will create balance. But in reverse, it's almost as if you disbelieve and you're struggling with yourself to believe this situation. Or um, is this you wrestling with yourself, you know, um, in that sense of keeping yourself in that stagnant energy? Okay. Um, yeah, and maybe you, you know, as hard as it, as it, it is for me to say this, um, on on a mass scale with the Hierophant in reverse, they've sort of taught us to believe in the wrong kind of God and the wrong spirit, you know? Um, it's been more of a 3D kind of uh, thing that we've been following. And we might be wrestling because that's what we've been taught, you know? It's what you're finding it hard to change because it's what's been in our face for such a long time. So I definitely do feel like this is where you have to go in deep meditation, ask questions, that kind of thing, okay? Um, yeah, so it's, it's like, I definitely do feel... Um, this is where you're going to get your karmic justice if you let go of this kind of uneasiness and take a spiritual role for yourself, meaning learning um, spirituality on a whole do, on a whole different level um, than you're used to. What is the hierophant in reverse? So all your beliefs are just sort of they're crashing down, guys. And you're gonna have you have the the, the great thing about it is that they're crashing down, but you have the opportunity to recreate and to recreate in peace and humble something humble okay so see temperance and the wheel of fortune so this is where we're at we're in this fork in the road and you just don't know where to go um but what spirit and god is really trying to do is trying to really release us and allow us to ascend so that we can really go into that promised land okay um i hope that makes sense um yeah, I don't want to say a lot because I mean they'll start buffering my sound. They'll start when I when I upload, I can see when they're nicking some of the things that I say. In other words, they sort of run them together, and sometimes I don't know. It's just it's hard to really come out here on this platform and just be honest 
but I try to do it as well as I can. And I always do pray to ask to give you guys guidance that it will come through me, you know. So I hope this is making sense because we are at this period of all the bad things are really going to be taken off and we have the opportunity to make them what we really want in our soul okay it's moderation it's peace it's forgiveness it's comfort it's health it's abundance whatever that is give me one more card for card for endurance and then we got the nine of cups you get the wish fulfillments you get the peace you get the serenity the abundance the love whatever that is for you you're gonna get your prayers answered okay that's pretty much what they're telling you but you have to sort of be on your feet and make sure you're following the right thing not the bad thing okay so i want to know how does the story end for today please okay so the devil and see what are you attached to um yeah this is a big one but see with this one it's almost as if you have a recognition of it okay um the devil okay and then see laying it down laying down the toxic stuff the 3d stuff the materialism the lies the manip manipulation maybe you let let somebody else take control and this is where we take that leap of faith with that six of cups and you rush in oh my gosh like seriously i hope this makes sense i i have to sit back and listen to it because as i'm recording it and i see it i'm like wow is it making as much sense to you guys? I don't know. I hope it is. But this is amazing because you're letting go of the toxic stuff. You see that? You put the wands down. You're ready to accept that maybe you made a mistake. Maybe you made the wrong choice. Maybe you've been following the wrong thing for a lifetime, really. And then here we go. We're able to heal that stuff. And you're able to come together either with that person you love or with that feeling of you really having peace in your life okay um and this is really a person charging in with passion so this could be a return of that love um take it as it resonates guys it is hard um to give you the precise answer that you're looking for i want to know what is the karmic situation here what can you show me as far as this karmic situation here please uh okay so you got to stand up for yourself. Um, get out of the victim mentality. They've put us in this place of victim and victim mentality where everything is offensive. And if you can't listen to things that make you mad, it's because they've taught you to be like that. So you have to sort of stand up for yourself. OK, um, and, and this could be in in love, relationships, money, whatever. OK, family. Um, let's see. What else can you show me? so there is prosperity here there is somebody who's transformed from victim mentality and despair you see that they're becoming they're owning themselves they're becoming masculine a masculine energy is healing here is what i can tell you very nice actually what else can you show me um ah transformation beautiful so whoever this is for you they are in the midst of transformation or maybe it's you you know you will know so let's see here i want to know how do i can how how do they continue to manifest this please what is your guidance as far as continuing okay so you have to um the sacred flow of yes start saying yes say things say yes to the things that you want not the things that somebody else wants you to say yes to it's you it's all about you external validation and find your power Validate your own power. Don't question your power or your thoughts or what spirit is trying to get you to do and take action and move you, you know. Um, let's see here. Uh, let's do this one right here. What is their affirmation for today? Their affirmation. What is the affirmation for today, please? Okay, so you have... Today, I will not give in. Today, I will not allow negative thoughts or feelings to pre prevent me from achieving happiness. Very nice. That's awesome. That is so awesome. Um, let's see. I want to know what is, what is the insight for today, please? What is the insight for this reading? Okay. So allow yourself to heal. 
Holding back trauma stops you from growing and learning. Healing helps release blockages and limitations and allows you to bloom. So a lot of this trauma is from the inner child, from the way we grew up, from the way society has brought us up and really sort of dumbed us down to our own natural powers, guys. Um, we're trying to break free of that mold. That's what's happening in the world. We're trying to break free from that. And we have our own powers. And I've told you before, you are... You are enough. You are you are a part of God. You are God's. You you have the power to create. Okay? And that's what they don't want you to know. Um, and that's why they've sort of smothered my channel because I'm trying to teach you guys this. Um, I wanna know what's the abundance message. Uh let's see. So detachment. With detachment you finally feel whole inside, with or without the fulfillment of a particular desire ironically that's often when it's fulfilled so when you let go of this that you really want it it sort of just sort of happens you detach from it but you know it's still there and you know it's going to come and that's when it comes guys grief tears are what happens when the ice in the heart melts so prepare yourself to cry there are going to be crying moments and there are going to be moments where you think what the hell is this really happening have they really done this to us? They have, and you're gonna cry. But let that cry happen and then come back and find yourself and humble yourself and know that we are meant to be more humble, um, more giving, not so much about appearance and what you have in your wallet, okay? Um, let's see, energetic clearing. So during crisis, the Holy One herself may be in... Uh, emptying you of fear and attachments preparing you to receive her luminous plan see this is what's happening guys i'll read it again during crisis the holy one herself may be emptying you of fear and attachments preparing you to receive her luminous plan so there is really divine um divine powers working here okay um whether you believe or not okay i want to know uh what is the angel message here please what is the angel message here what is the angel message so let go yes let go of those old attachments and no need to worry everything is going to be fine you, you you are all protected um by god's grace okay uh let's see and if you extend that grace to others that's where things will really start to move for you i want to know um what is the chakra message for them today please their chakra message okay so the gift of knowing the third eye chakra so this is where you manifest and when you close your eyes and you meditate you just sort of know that the things that you're putting in your vortex they're going to come out they're going to they're going to be uh, delivered to you and don't stop manifesting and believe in your manifestations okay um okay let's see here what is the message of love please the message of love for them okay so unclear the inward turn inwards what you seek is inside if you're feeling uncertain, okay, um, obstacles, overcome it or find another way. Yeah, don't get stuck. Okay, the cycles, everything happens in divine timing and the flames of love. Surrender to the fierce fire of love. And there is a spiritual connection that omits this love and you've been running from it, either you or your person, and now it's time to come to it to heal. Um, I've always said twin flames heal, and they really do, guys. They really do, because we omit, when you're in true love, unconditional love, you omit this energy that heals the planet. Um, but we have not had that, a lot of that, right? People don't think they're the right person, or it's just sort of all manipulated. I could say something, but I don't want to. Um, there is nothing sexier than my authentic truth. That is right. Be who you are. Be honest to yourself. Uh, and then let's see. What are the words of love that they need to hear, please? The words of love. 
the words of love. Okay, so I'm gonna take those right there. This one. Okay. So it says vision. No matter what you see, the bigger picture of a loving universe. There, there's the bigger picture is that there is a loving universe, but maybe we've been blind to it. Um, satisfaction. Let the energy of love guide you to self-approval so that others no longer define who you are. And that's what's happening. A virtue. You acknowledge your loving spiritual attributes that encourage others to grow. And this is where, as as twin flames, we have to extend our hands to others. Um, you know? Yeah. Uh, let's see here. So, uh, let's do this one. Okay. I want to know what are the two souls telling each other today? What is the message they would give? They would give you. Okay. All right. What is the message, please? Okay. There's one that flipped over. Okay. So this one right here, it says, forgiveness. Stop focusing your energy on past events for life is too precious to waste. You create your reality by what you think, dream, and imagine. That is so true. And then right here, reflection. Give each other some space at the moment. Trust and have faith that all will work out and is for the best. And then it says, wait. Don't rush into it. Allow nature to take the course. And that's definitely that patience and that virtue that you need to have. Um, and then this one. Give thanks for the blessings of love soon to come your way. Know that you deserve to be and have all that your heart truly desires. And if you have patience and you don't rush it, you will get that. Okay. Um, so I want to know, what is the soul message for today? The soul message for today, please. The soul message for today. Um, okay. So... What do I resist feeling right now? We have to feel it to heal it. In order to let go of pain, we first have to honor it, its existence. Emotions are like waves. Some are soft, some are fierce, some are layered, and some will sweep, sweep you off your feet. When we allow others, oh, I'm sorry, when we, are, when we allow ourselves to feel it, all we can then release what no longer serves us so today's action allow yourself to feel this wave let it move through you no matter how long it lasts then release it back into the ocean feel it heal it enjoy the sweet freedom within your soul and i just love it because i just don't know how these cards come out because it really does tie into this of what is happening